We rolling? We never rolling. stop rolling. I like that. That's real I shit. I, t- I had to tell them that when I first got my show, they used to always be cutting this shit. I'm like, nigga, do you know how much fly shit be happening when y'all not filming? I didn't even know they was rolling right now. Yeah, they was rolling the moment you sat down. Oh, shit. That's how the GGN get down. Oh, well, fuck. Um, in that case. I'm going to tell them. Let me tell them. Yeah, I'm going to tell them. Go ahead. Uh. If you don't know, you won't know. You inside the show where it goes down all the time, every time. I'm your host with the most finding Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes. And on my show, the GGN News Show, you do what you want when you want. And I brought my nephew. This is his first time coming on the show. First time. He's been watching it, supporting it for years. And Too now long. he's here. Mm-hmm. It is Bow Wow. Yeah. And BT can't say nothing. They can't right say now. nothing? Not right now. I get this. <laughs> you know when you around, I get the super pass to do whatever I want to do. <laughs> All the time. I love it. I love it. I love it, <laughs> nephew. This is a good thing, man, for me and you both. Because, see... When you hosting and doing your thing over there in the BT world, you mm-hmm. know everybody loving you and enjoying you, and then you know you 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 really the you the face of the young generation as far as keeping the party rocking. You like how me, Puffy, you know what I'm saying, been doing it for years now. You the mm-hmm. young generation of it, and you doing a great job of it. How long do you see yourself really being over there, like really rocking the party? Well, um, I'm gonna say this right here, right now, man. I just uh, I just signed on for another year with BT. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's so I'm gonna go ahead and say it right here now in the GGN and. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really as long as they want me there. And I remember that conversation we had at your crib? Yeah. Remember what you and JD told me? Mm-hmm. Go get what's yours. Yeah. Because if so somebody else get it. Yeah, you did that. I mm-hmm. see you put it all in line and did that. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you a long way from when you started, man, because you was rapping at the age of six when I first bumped into you. 19 years later, you finally, you know, able to do your own thing, make your own decision, you still love. How mm-hmm. do you maintain your star status for so many years? You know what I always tell people? I maintained it by <clears throat> learning from you, learning from JD, you know what I'm saying? Just having that proper teaching. Y'all taught me so well, so it's kind of like looking at look at my hip hop parents. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Look how long you've been around, huh? And you're mm-hmm. gonna still be around. Look how long Jermaine been around. So it's kind of like if you if you was born from greatness, how come you can't be great or know the blueprint about being great? They say the apple don't fall far from the tree. Well, there you go. So your first album, Beware a Dog, in mm. 2000. Mm-hmm. See, because you didn't get no album when you first started. Nope. He put you through the, through the training and the processing and the waiting and the waiting. Mm-hmm. And then when you turned 13, he gave you the Beware a Dog album. And that right sold on. 3 million copies. Triple platinum at 13. Whew. And you was a part of it. Yeah. How were you able to <clears throat> adjust from being a kid to being basically a grown-up, like, overnight? Because that's mm-hmm. successful. You know, Lane puts you in a position where you got to grow up fast. How did you do it? I did it through my work. So I just went out and made the records. And then, you know, like I said, the way I live, my life is show fast. It's out of my system. That was probably like one of my most mature records. You know what I mean? Coming off of a breakup. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like just just going through things like that and just writing about them. And then, you know, just having the great visuals to, to, to go along with everything. And that's mm-hmm. what pretty much helped me, just making the right moves. You know, not being no knucklehead, not getting in too much trouble. Yeah. You know what I mean? Getting my money in, you know, doing it the way how I'm supposed to be doing it. And you had great mentors, like like you said, you had myself, you had JD, you mm-hmm. had Nelly's a great mentor for mm-hmm. you. You got a lot of real friends who really care about you. You know what right. I'm saying? Because I remember once upon a time when you was, you know, you was mm-hmm. cutting up. I was. And Nelly, <laughs> Nelly was like, he <laughs> called me, he was like, hey, bruh. You need to get at your son, man. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Bow wow, man. He I'm acting up. up. I'm gonna fuck him up. Before I fuck him up, you better fuck, fuck him, him up. up. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Nelly, I'm gonna get at you, cuz. But see, that's the love that we have for you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And as you become a grown man, you say, okay, why was they so hard on me? Right. Why was they doing this to me? Because they wanted to protect you from the shit that you see others go through that you right. don't go through. Right. What kind of friends would we be to sit back and say, well, we know Bow Wow, if he turned down that street, he gonna fall. Mm-hmm. Why would we let him turn down that street if we love him? Right on. You know, pull him back, walk that way. Mm-hmm. Just listen, walk that way. We know this. Mm-hmm. And you caught on and you got it and you got your thing together and you got more and more opportunities. I seen you in the, the Johnson family vacation, mm-hmm. roll bounce. I told mm-hmm. you roll bounce. You cried on that when you watched it. It made me share that Denzel. I hit him with the, the, the glory. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker went like this, boom, bop, <laughs> then it dropped. I was like, damn. That's a cold movie right there, man. 
Then you was in Fast and Furious, mm -hmm. All About the Benjamins, yep. Entourage. I mean, on and on and on. Mm -hmm. But like Mike was the one. Not the two. Now, when you was on 106 in Park, one of your wishes came true, right? Oh, I already know what you about to ask me. What am I asking? When I put my tongue in Tyra Banks' mouth. You put it all the way in, too. Didn't I? Wow. Hey, I've been DMing her like a motherfucker, too. She ain't hit me back yet. I see, that's what grown women do. Why they do that type of shit? They get you hard and leave. <laughs> <laughs> they get you hard and leave, for real. Hey, though. look, I told her, I'm like, look, I hit on the DM, because, you know, the fight coming up. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, this would be some real player shit to do. And I'm like, man, I'm going to hit up. Look, I got these tickets. This shit ain't cheap, neither. This shit like $45,000. i am like, man, I'll, I'll do it for Tyron. Yeah, you know the money saying? team. It's all about the, the luck. luck. Yeah. So I'm like, hop on the plane. No hit back. Crickets, crickets. But mm -hmm. one thing about a, a woman like that, you know, she didn't been around the world and I, yeah, yeah. Mm. And I remember Mike Epps told me, he was like, man, one time, you know, I was a youngster, I was fucking with an old bitch, and I took a Viagra. <laughs> and she got me all the way in the room and we was kissing and doing all kind of shit and she told me I wasn't gonna get none and I was just stuck there with a hard cock all night and didn't know how to get him down. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you say to her when you take her on a date. Mm -hmm. Say, baby, if you act right, you might get some tonight. So like the Tyra. Exactly. And now you put the pressure on, on her. her. Cause mm. now she ain't pressured about giving you none. Now she may want her son. Right. And you might not give her none. Right. Like I gotta know my my worth. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. I'm the I'm, one, well, not yeah, you. You, you yeah. getting this then? <laughs> Hello. This platinum. Yeah. Triple platinum. Hello. Uh, off the gate. Yeah. Mm. All right. So look. I uh, see why you've been blowing up. Oh, you got the you got reverse that. You got to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big deal right there. I can watch that. I can watch that clip over and over again and never get tired of it neither. That's so fuck. How do you hate on some shit like that though? Like every time I see this shit, I can just talk about this. Let shit. me help you kiss him. Well, you kiss up there. I'm gonna kiss her down there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll come out or something. <laughs> well, Holly Berry's my old woman crush. When she came on the scene, Holly Berry had that thing about herself, right? Mm -hmm. And she started having them babies by the mother motherfuckers and that kind of <laughs> depreciated her value. <laughs> <laughs> so now she's in the grocery store as opposed to the Gucci store. Oh. We still love you, Holly, and I will fuck you like Drake said. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I prefer to go to Cabo because the weather's much better. The beaches are perfect to lay down and get laid. And I also can get a massage on the beach. In San Diego, it's too hot, but I can take my clothes off, so that's good. Mm. Maybe I suck at this. I could be like a lease, marry a legend, then divorce him, then try to go to court for 50 G's. Now we'll see why the homies rock chains and hang with hoes all up on the dangle lane. These days, fame just come and goes. You might not see that dough again. I'ma pop my tag on a Dior bag that don't match nothing in my closet. And for just one day, I'ma hit with day, yo, and buy me some brand new blondies. Walking around like I got a knot in my wallet, nose in the sky, head up high. Can't take it with you when you die. I'm too G like a Gucci sign. Wait till I get my money right. You suckin' niggas can't tell me nothing. Wait till I. I hear you got a uh, new mobile app. Tell us about it. Oh, yeah, man. I got the Bow Wow app. Because you know, I got that Snoopify app. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, I'm finna snoopify us right now. Give me something. Okay. There we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that fast. Hit that bubble gum right there. Yeah, no, I almost fucking forgot what I was supposed to show you. My app, right? And basically, what it is is like my own social networking. So it's like... Do I get to be personal with you? Yup. All, like your real fan, you know how you got them bitch ass niggas that be on Twitter like, oh fuck yeah, off, yeah, nigga, fuck he's you. a fag boy, yeah. fuck him. Why y'all like him so much? They can't do that on here. This is like how, yo, how, how they can't do that? Cause these is your fans, and they gotta sign up. You gotta think. If oh, you don't like a take, motherfucker, you're not, not finna take, take the time, time to go download somebody's app to say fuck you. You know what I'm saying? So like, for instance, I just had a show in Orlando, mm -hmm. right? I did a big giveaway on my app. I flew her in personally, her and a the guest. They got to meet me at the show. Took a picture, she won my autographed jersey. You know what I'm saying? Flew back home safe and sound. So it's like, it, it just brings me closer 
to the fans. I can do whatever. I can I can set stuff. Say, say if it's me, you take a picture. Mm-hmm. And we like, man, this is just, you know, and the, you know how the blogs and everybody rip your shit for free? I can set a price on that picture. Let's do one right now for 99 cents. Say no more. You got a big Bow Wow, little Bow Wow, 99 cent throwback shot. Boom. It's taping up. Oh, that Took was the tight. <laughs> Your shit like an old ass camera. Three, <laughs> two, one. You ain't freeze, got that? Nigga. Nah. That way you ain't got to take no selfie. You know, that's how yeah, everybody the pictures look the same. You only got one arm in there. I hate that shit. You can only fit one arm and like half your shoulder be in there. That's when the bitches love sending me pictures like this. When they be, bitch, I want to see your the whole, whole body. body. Yeah. Oh, damn, yeah, you hot cheating and shit. <laughs> Let's watch this footage right here. Let's do it. This is you kissing. Yeah, this is what you do to a brother, so Tyler. You, you, you trying to do the remix? He was a gangster for that. Man, this was a moment. <laughs> oh who said they about to go? The, the, oh shit. See, I didn't know she was gonna keep going. See, she wanted it. Who was that sitting next to you? She was my, my guest host for the, uh, for the show. Do, do, do the, uh, up next, uh, up next, up next, uh, we gonna find out about the new season of American Next Top Model. Y'all, uh, should stay tuned. Oh, damn. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, oh man. See, that was that grown shit. See how she put them legs on? But you? I feel used though, huh? You shouldn't. She, she, she used <laughs> because, you for all the right opportunities. Because the next day, I, oh, look how she went in with the up. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why. She's an actress, bro. I know that. She but she acting. used me because I wasn't acting. That was real to me. But she, she did. See, but that's what great actors do. They got you to believe it was believable. Mm. She did her part. She's a grown cougar. Then her show came on the next night. Exactly. And she got all the rave reviews about how she kissed you. And she was in the London Daily Paper. I was overseas when I seen it. I thought you put your finger in her booty, too. I was like. <laughs> now, this is the part of the show called Finish the Sentence. I'm going to okay. start it, and you finish it. Done deal. I hate it when people <laughs> come up to me and say, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bother you, but. I fucking hate oh, that shit. Oh, man. I, what I was the fuck is you sorry for? Thank you. If you thought that, then why come up? You feel me? I was eating a pizza parlor. Somebody did that to me. <laughs> Bow, I'm so, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this to you, but you don't mind if I... I hate that shit. <laughs> man, I really sympathize with you on that one, because I, I, I told a nigga that the other day. Nigga was like, I'm sorry to bother you. Well, motherfucker, don't. Yeah, or if they talk to me while I'm in the club, I can't hear shit. Bitch, I can't hear. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Man. <laughs> Man. I look for blank in a woman. A good, a good spirit. A good spirit. You gotta have a good spirit. That's what I look for. If I wasn't rapping, I'd be. Probably bagging them groceries at Big Bear off Livingston and Maine. Top five MCs, dead or alive. My aunt, Pot, Biggie. Ah, uh, Hove, I go last one. Shit, I gotta throw him in there because I, I really fuck with him, man. And that's uh, and that's L. Cool J. He is hard as hell. Battle mm -hmm. anybody, I don't care if you tell. Mm -hmm. I ain't sell. They all fail. Mm -hmm. Go to cut and tell. Double L must rock the bells. That's it right there. That's what I'm talking about. By the way, I want to thank you for coming down to the show. Come on. You going level yeah. where you been? Anytime you need a place to put out your material, talk about it, be about it, GGN is wide open for you. You know it. Even if you want to send your family, your friends, you want to send Angie down here, you want to send any of your mm -hmm. folks out, send them on over here, man. Let's get gotcha. popping. Come on, man. You, you know come on my man. show. I got to come on yours. And uh, we gone. Church. Preach. Tabernacle.